Hi, this is the Microchip PIC 16F628A microcontroller. It's a RISC CPU that can run at a clock speed of up to 20 MHz and has 3.5 KB of flash storage, 224 bytes of SRAM memory and 128 bytes of EEPROM. Although this PIC 16F has been around for a while, it is still in production in 2023. There are many hobby projects that you can undertake with it, ranging from blinking LEDs to retro hardware, such as this Atari ST PS2 mouse adapter. In my opinion, it is still worth learning how it works. My first project using this microcontroller dated around 20 years ago, where I made an LED news sticker. It was before the time that you could easily make custom PCBs, so I had to solder all of the connections manually using wires. The programmer that I used was a built project by itself and it needed to be connected to a serial port in order to program the chip. So it is not very usable on modern computers. I might still have a go with it myself using an old PC and Windows system. As of now I will guide you through a simple circuit to get started with this PIC16 microcontroller. For this project you will obviously need the PIC 16F 628A microcontroller, an LED with a current limiting resistor, I have used 220 ohms, two jumper wires and a power supply capable of providing 5 volts. To program the microcontroller I will use the PIC K150 programmer. It doesn't offer advanced features like IDE integration and code debugging. Its primary function is to program your code by uploading a binary hex file into the chip. I'll explain this process in more detail later in the video. First, we need to create the Blink LED code for the PIC microcontroller using the MPLAB X IDE. Download the IDE using the link provided in the description. And the XC8 compiler, which is a C compiler from Microchip for 8-bit PICs. Install MPLAB X and the XC8 compiler. I will not show the full steps here, as the procedure is pretty easy. Now we are ready to create a project. Click on Create New in the Projects group. First select Standalone Project. Select PIC 16F628A. We will not be using debugging headers in this project, so select None here. Then choose the XC8 compiler that we have just downloaded and installed. Pick a project name. Blink will be probably appropriate. We are now going to create a main.c file. Right click on source and select new. And then main.c. Type main in the dialog window. We will also need a set of configuration bits. They are used to set up fundamental device operation. For example, the oscillator mode. These bits must be set correctly to ensure your program executes faultlessly. Our approach involves the use of the internal clock oscillator. The rest of the settings are set to off. Then click on this icon to insert the source code into the editor and paste it on top of the file. Set all the pins of the port B as output. In this while loop, all of the B port pins are toggled off and on. To compile the project, go to the menu Production, Build Main Project. We are getting an error. What happened? It appears that the delay MS function that we are using needs a define of the internal clock frequency. For this PIC chip, the internal oscillator is at 4 MHz. So we can add this define somewhere outside the main function. Let's try again. The code compiles now without any errors. This will generate a hex file output that we will need later to program the chip. The hex file should end up in this location. We can now proceed to upload the hex file to the real PIC microcontroller using the K150 programmer. Download the programmer software from this website. You will also need to download the K150 USB drivers. The K150 programmer needs Windows. Since I am on a Mac, I will install the driver on a virtual box that is running Windows 7. I know, it's a bit outdated, but I can assure you that it still works fine. After plugging in the K150 programmer, 
we will see that it was recognized correctly when this USB serial controller profile will show up. Check inside the device manager on which COM port the drive is active. In my case, it was COM4. Then launch the K150 programmer. You might see this error message. Go to File, Port and change it to the same COM port number as shown in the device manager. Then select your chip. Load the hex file that was generated inside MPLAB and load it by clicking on the load button. Then insert the chip as shown on the picture. Note that pin 1 on the chip is on the second row of the ZIF socket. And then press the program button. Let's proceed to build our test circuit on the breadboard. First, we need to connect the ground that is pin 5 and power to pin 14 of the chip. Then we need to add an LED to any of the pins that belong to port B. Pin 9 looks convenient. The anode of the LED connects to the chip. And we will also need a current limiting resistor between the LED and the ground. Finally, add a 5 volts power source. Moment of truth. And the LED is blinking. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it the thumbs up. Please also consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.